Good evening and aloha, boys and girls. How's everyone doing on this hump day? It is Wednesday, uh, May 22nd here in good old Honolulu. It's been a minute since I've been able to get on the twos and bring something new to you. So here I am, uh, as promised. This is going to be my um, this is my bike intro kind of a kind of a vibe video for you. So I'm just going to go over some things that I've done to my bike, some things I want to do to my bike, and uh, as well as like I said before, um, my impressions after owning the bike for uh, almost six months. Got it in January of 2019. This is, I do believe, the last BMW uh, S1000 Double R Premium that was sold on the island. Um, prior to purchasing this one, I was, you know, offered to place an order for the new model. But uh -oh. I was like, eh, I'm good. I like what I like. And plus, you know what? They did not have a delivery date, and I was just like, you know what? Nope. This is here. This is now. Um, I've always wanted this bike. This has been my dream bike for quite a number of years. As some of you may or may not know if you've watched any of my other videos. Um, I still currently have a 2015 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special. But prior to buying that, I was actually going to buy a BMW S1000 RR. Unfortunately, at the time, they did not have any in stock on island. And again, uh, the island life, sometimes they, they just never, you know, they weren't sure if they were getting any more for that year. So I ended up going with a bagger. No regrets there. Uh, I'll bring that bike out for you guys one day. but. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go head over to a nice little spot not too far from here, kind of close to uh, Daniel K. Inouye International Airport. Um, it's actually 5.30. As you can see, traffic here is nuts. So I must really like you guys to leave my house during probably the worst time of the day <laughs> to go out the house and, and drive anywhere, to be honest. But hey, it's all good. Um, yeah, it's a lot cooler now than it was earlier. Today has been another hot day here in Honolulu. Uh, I'm not sure if they broke any records or set any new ones. Uh, but yes, the heat has just been crazy. That's why I don't even have on one of my normal jackets that I ride in. I uh, actually have on... It's not really a sweatshirt. It's a little bit more than a sweatshirt, but something that's a little bit more uh, air breathing. Because man, it's been crazy out here the last few days with the heat. So yeah. So I will let you guys know that I did also order some new motorcycle gear, like I think I talked about in the last video I did due to the fact that I think we're in for a record, record temperature setting uh, summer. So riding season here is year round. <laughs> it is an island. Uh, it rains here everywhere, somewhere, every day. No big deal. But I will say that summertime is still summertime. It, it gets that, just that much more hotter. So. Yeah, you don't want to be riding all day or, or not even all day, actually. But for an hour or two and already like, feel like, you know what, let me off. <laughs> I gotta stop. Kind of like I was in my last video. It was just unbearable, like seriously. But um, yeah, it should be a quick ride over here. I am actually going the opposite of most of the traffic on island right now. I'm heading east. Most of the traffic this time of day is actually heading west. So, shouldn't take me too long to get over there. How's this guy? 
wasn't even supposed to be in my lane. Or shit, the lane next to me, should I say. I was thinking about murdering. Good thing I did. Be on twos again. Feels like forever. <laughs> so Nimitz Highway is actually named after uh, Admiral Arthur Nimitz. For you Navy folks. Take Nimitz Highway. And if we stay on H1 East, we'll actually overshoot to the location that I'm actually trying to get to. So just better this way. back when I get closer to the location. Okay guys and I'm back. So thanks for bearing with me. Uh, as you can see over there, got a nice little scene of downtown over there. Got some clouds going on this side. Some more flights happening over there. But anyway, to the bike. So what have I done? Uh, what do I want to do? How do I like it? in the last five six months i've had it so let's get started let's start the obvious stuff um so yeah you know we all have to have access to our phone so i got this i went with the uh the quad lock i do also have the ram mount that goes on here but i kind of like this one a little better um i did order an extension stem i think this is like three inch or two inch to raise it up a little bit more um jumping from there might as well go right to here so I have this one as my front facing camera. This is the GoPro Hero Session 5, actually. Um, small camera, not so small prices. Like priced the same as all the other GoPros around the six, five, six, and seven GoPro Hero series range. Okay, from there we can go down here. So this is a USB power outlet. Uh, that I had installed when I got my other some of my other things installed that I'll get to in a second but basically I like it right there it's pretty and easy to install I mean I can bring it around charge my phone if I need to or I can actually bring a cable up here and charge this GoPro if I wanted to um, so moving along from that the next obvious thing of course is frame sliders uh, with all my bikes I, I look I, you know I try to think not complete worst case scenario because we all know what that that leads to but you know in the event that i do drop a lay down the bike for whatever reason i always put my frame sliders on you know my baggers I always put my crash guards on if it doesn't have one as well as rear saddlebag crash guards if it doesn't have any so got it like got those on there and those are uh what rng yeah rng so you keep hearing me say S1000 double R premium. What's premium about it? So the premium version of the bike basically comes with a few different things. It comes with the uh, the brake lever guard right here. It also comes with the accents right here. Uh, the rear sets are different. It already came with the uh, the spools and uh, actually it also has the carbon fiber accents all the way around the bike for the most part next thing is uh, I just got these not too long ago you know a little bit of tank protection here I went with tech spec 
I like it so far. I mean, it's a little beefy, but I mean, it kind of, you know, it's a beefy bike. That's 1000 R. Ain't no punks over here. So, it's all good. Next, I went with, uh, had to get a seat. <laughs> I got this sergeant seat here. Um, I, I don't have anything negative to say about it, but at the same time, I'm probably going to explore another seat because the way this one has me sitting on the bike, I kind of, I don't know. Or maybe it's just me, you know, again, I've been riding cruisers and baggers for so long. Uh, my seating position is still a little bit, you know, I got to conform a little bit different to the sport bike. But, okay, so the seat. Uh, of course, the major, major thing that we all like to change initially is the exhaust. <laughs> now, this bike being a premium edition of this motorcycle, did come with an Acra muffler but yeah, a little bit too quiet, a little bit too soft for my taste. So, you know, I went with the MotoGP can, also went with Acura headers. So basically, if you look underneath of there, you will see no cap. So it's the full exhaust. It's the stainless version. Um, I just couldn't see pan double <laughs> for the headers. I don't race, I don't plan on racing. There's not even a track here in Hawaii, so yeah saved extra money and put it elsewhere speaking of uh let's see so thing with most places uh with sport bikes is they they're pretty easy to steal um that said one of the main things as you can see right here i have a little light right there and this is basically tied into my alarm so the alarm is the vps 450 and I also have a GPS on this bike. So now you guys know. If anybody's thinking about picking this one up, you may just want to just leave it alone. So anyway, this is the 3121V. Um, this thing is super loud. I'm going to set it off. Uh, probably piss some people off, but whatever. Now I apologize in advance. One more time should do it. So mine is actually wired to the horn as well as to the siren. So one more. So if you can't tell by now, it's pretty loud. That's what you want. I want something to wake me up. So the VPS 450 and the GPS 3121. And it also comes with an app. Um, I turned my uh, airplane mode on my phone that way I don't get any interruptions while I'm doing this video but maybe I'll show you guys on another video the app and how it functions and the maps and all that how it lays out or whatever also with the premium just you know, you'll notice that it comes with the HP wheels so that's pretty much it that's the walk around of the bike um, pretty much did everything I really wanted to do to it um, I got my 808 Moto Lifestyle so this is actually kind of interesting here in itself um, this re is reflective material so when light hits it particularly when you're riding at night it's, it's reflective in nature um, so yeah uh, so a few more things that I'm going to do I haven't decided on the priority list but I did go ahead and get my uh i ordered my afterglow lights just a couple days ago i've seen a couple of videos where guys are taking this out and uh back filling it with a light around it that's pretty dope eh, so we'll see um yeah so everything fits neatly in the trunk as far as the uh the alarm goes and the gps and of course uh if you're asking what kind of tuner i'm running the Power Commander 5 is what I went with. I was looking at another model, another uh, kind of a tuner, but when I talked to most of the mechanics here, most of them weren't familiar with it. They've heard about it and they've heard mixed things, even though everything I read on them is like boss. But I don't wrench on my bikes. I know what I do and I know what I don't do. I don't like working on my bikes. I never have, probably never will. That said, when you get your bike serviced and, and you know, maintained, why make it harder for the guys that you know are going to be maintaining it? So, yeah, I just kept it simple. Power Commander 5, everything sounds good. It's tuned properly, even down to the D-cell pop. I love it. Uh, definitely can hear me coming if you can't see me. <laughs> 
And of course, you know, I got the nice levers with the bike. Pretty adjustable. So yeah, man, that's pretty much the walk around. How do I love it? This bike is everything that I thought it would be. Um, and then some. Uh, I was bummed when I wasn't able to get it the first time around. But at the same time, everything happens for a reason. So I got it now. I love it. And that said, I'm done running my mouth. I hear something in the background trying to take off take off over there. Uh, these guys over here eating their lunch. Shout out to EMS Law Enforcement. And I'm, that's going to do it for me. I'm about to get back on these twos and go enjoy me uh, a nice evening breeze that we got going out here as you can see. Got the trade winds slightly moving about. So I'm going to go enjoy that. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Mahalo and aloha. Whip, got status in your whip, cosmetic, god damn.